Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for August 15th through the 31st. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up for the end of August, the 15th to the 31st. Keep in mind that this is um, not a private reading, so it may or may not resonate for you. So keep that in mind. And the timing is fluid. It's a preview. This is a preview of what's to come. So the minute you watch it, it might not resonate. you got to keep that in mind. A lot of people don't realize that. They watch it on the one day and they're like, oh, no, that's not me. Wrong. Wrong. Give it time to play out, please. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Shine, Gemini. Shine. This is the Sun card. So this is this is your shining. You are shining. You are in a pa a place of glory. No kidding. You're standing right in your glory. I mean, you are glowing, glowing. Um, this is beautiful. This is happiness. This is extreme happiness. So at the end of the month, you are at, you're looking good. You're feeling good. You're vibrating very very highly. People can feel it. Uh, you are, uh, you're radiating, put it that way. Um, definite happiness here. You're shining. Gemini is shining. It's like you're floating. You're floating on air. It's beautiful. Very passionate. And people can see you glowing. They can see it. center of attention. You probably are the center of attention. Oh, we got two. I'm going to take them both. This one says financial constraints. So you may be, you know, you may be, you may need to be careful with your money. All right. looks like the cupboards are a little bare there. So you may need to buckle down on the finances. Oh, and the sun is reversed. We're not, we're not taking these cards reversed. We could, doesn't matter. Maybe you're not happy about your money situation. <clears throat> I mean, you're shining, you're glowing, but your money situation may be a little uh, dwindling. <laughs> you're probably not happy, may not be growing the way that you'd like. So it is what it is. Either way, you're you're shining. You're shining. To have, who cares about the money? As long as you're glowing, that's all that matters. This is still happiness, even with the sun in reverse. It is. I mean, this is this is blossoming. Okay, you are blossoming. You may feel like you don't have enough money. You may feel like you know money is an issue. Don't let that dull your shine because you're beautiful. Um, you're vibrating very high. You probably are getting a lot of attention. Everybody can, everybody is drawn to you, okay? Gemini, what do we got for Gemini, dear God? Angels, spirits, and universe. It's going to be a, ha a happy end of the month either way. Because of, even with the sun reverse, it's still happiness. There just may be you know, happiness in regards to your finances. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Could be costing you some money. Addictions could be costing you some money. You know, addictions come in many forms. Okay? Addictions could be drugs. It could be alcohol. It could be food. It could be shopping. It could be gambling. It could be obsessions to things, other things. It could be obsessions to people. Okay, um, your looks, that could be a problem. That can be an obsession. Okay, so addictions are affecting your romantic life. You know what it is. I don't even have to tell you. You know what it is. So addictions are affecting your romantic life. Maybe you don't feel good about yourself. Maybe you're working on your health. The sun card is about health. This could be a time where you are focusing on yourself. You know, you're starting to shine again. You're working on your health. You Maybe you're working on healing because this is healing from those addictions. You probably are. And maybe it's costing you some money to heal. You know, sometimes it costs money to, to get rid of addictions. No kidding. You know, you have to pay for help, perhaps. I mean, that could happen. 
um, Nine of Swords reversed. King of Pentacles reversed. Wheel of Fortune reversed. And the Page of Pentacles. You have a new enterprise here. You have a new prospect. A new door is opening. A new path is opening up for you. You're going to have to start over completely. There's been some sort of clinging to control here. Definitely somebody's been wasting their money or not focusing enough on their money. Not focusing enough on their job. Or focusing too much on their job. Could be either one. This is your gut is telling you something. I feel like you may be exhausted. This is the Nine of Swords reversed. You're giving deep thought to something. I feel like there, you may be addicted to something that you know deep down needs to go. Okay? I don't know what it is. I told you what those addictions were and there's many more. I, I could never name them all. But there's something that you need. It could be food. I don't know if it's food or drugs or alcohol or whatever it is. But I think that you know that it's costing you. It's costing you stability. It's costing you security. It's not It's not helping you. You could be addicted to your job. Some people are addicted to their job. Um, or they're addicted to money. And You know what I mean? And it, and it affects your romantic life. Okay? Either way, this is clinging to control, not heading in the right direction. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. It's going backwards. Something is bringing you backwards. You do have a new opportunity here, but you're going to have to try new things. And that means you're going to have to try new things. So, um, yes. Damn it. Ten of Wands. Overwhelmed. You know, you, you're carrying a heavy burden, carrying a heavy weight. Maybe some of you need to lose weight. Maybe you're focusing on losing weight. There's some sort of heavy weight that needs to be released. Uh, maybe you're not, maybe you're feeling like you need to withdraw. You, you can't really communicate. You're not mastering your emotions. You could be dealing with somebody or something that doesn't have good intentions for you. There's nothing good going to come out of it. It's not emotionally fulfilling. It might feel good for a minute, but it doesn't last. There's a feeling of emptiness. There's a feeling of incomplete here. Something is unfinished. Something is unfinished. You haven't learned some sort of lesson yet about listening to your... Now, Nine of Swords, these are thoughts. Very, very negative thoughts. Empress. Upright. <laughs> right next to each other. Nine of coins reverse. That's interesting. Okay. So, this is you going through some sort of rebirth. You're 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 strug you're going through some sort of struggle to get some sort of reward. So you some of you are in the process of healing from some sort of addiction. And you're going to become very beautiful. As soon as you get to the end of this, this is the end of this struggle, whatever it is. This is a beautiful reward. A reward is coming and it's because you're taking care of yourself. So I feel like this is a month of you really taking action, realizing that another person doesn't complete you. You complete you. The Nine of, nine of, wand, or nine of Wands, Nine of Coins reversed, that is taking action to do what's right for you. I think that there's definitely a lack of you you may have been weak, you may not have been taking very good care of yourself. Maybe you've gained some weight or you or you uh have been working too hard, you've been burying yourself in your work, you haven't been really taking care of yourself and I feel like now you are. I think the challenge is Completing a, completing a life lesson. This is your challenge. Completing a life lesson. Completing a cycle in your life that has kept you down. has kept you in a state of misery. It's really kept you... Uh, it's really made you struggle. It, maybe it's even caused you to feel like you're not good enough. That's what I'm feeling. You know what I mean? I feel like it's caused you exhaustion. It's stolen your energy. Some Some sort of addiction has stolen your energy to the point where... Now you have to learn from it and give birth to your new life and it's a struggle to do so. You need to put in a lot of effort and hard work to change. I think that you know that it's time to release something that has been holding you down. It's been, it's been really 
too much for you to carry. And I feel like, you know, you've been reluctant to change your direction, maybe because it felt comfortable. Um, but I think you've gotten to the point where it almost feels like there's an illness that comes with this addiction, whether it's a work addiction or whatever it is. When you stress kills, okay, stress kills. <laughs> It does. It kills your ambition. It kills your drive. It kills your mojo. It kills. It kills. So anyway, right around the corner, you have a new opportunity here. Um, this is a new opportunity that could grow into something really, really big. But this is right here. I think that you are fearing that, you know, it won't be emotionally fulfilling. But you need to really focus on yourself right now. My advice is to really take this time to focus on your health. Focus on yourself. Maybe that's what you're doing. You're focusing on your health. You're focusing on yourself. This is the birth of something new, okay? Right now you're focusing on becoming the new you. And that's what I think this is. And I think that you are shining. I think that you are growing. I think that you're going through a renewal. I think that you are basically... Oh, what's it? it's like a gestation period, right? Where you're going through the motions of getting to that reward, and it takes time. Maybe you gotta go nine months on this journey to get your reward. Maybe it's nine months till you actually get your your delivery, but it's gonna take hard work to get there. So anyway, I feel like this is a month of you working on yourself. Um, really not. Um, Well, this is the Four of Cups. I think that you're really not accepting any opportunities for love. You, there could be some here, but you may not be really focused on it. I think that you see an opportunity for love, and I think that you're, you're, you're just thinking about it. You're not really taking it. Maybe you're thinking about an opportunity that you lost. Maybe that you're overwhelmed over an opportunity that you lost. Maybe it was because you were overwhelmed. You, were, you, you didn't know your value. You didn't know your worth or... You know, you felt weighed down or you had low self-esteem or whatever the case is. I think that you're you're thinking about a big love that may have been missed or may have been lost. And, and you know, right now you're, you may be holding on to um, something that doesn't serve you and you're thinking about something else. Um, and maybe, you know, you're just, this Nine of Pentacles, you're holding on to something that just to have something to hold, you know what I mean? Because is this, whoever, whatever it is, whether it's an addiction or it's a person, it doesn't complete you. And it's, there's a feeling of, you know, this isn't love. This isn't love. You know, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't love. Okay. This isn't the, the, the partner of my dreams, something like that. And I think that you do have a new opportunity, whether it's a partner or it's, something that you thought was emotionally fulfilling, you know, it could be an addiction or whatever it is. I feel as though you guys are overwhelmed. You're, you're, there's something that you are carrying that me, you need to, you know, drop. Whether it's weight or it's an addiction or whatever. Um, you're healing. This is a month of healing. It is. I think that you're, you may, some of you may be deciding to go your own way. You know what? I got to take care of myself right now. I've been going backwards. You may be, you may have been dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that was bringing you backwards. Doesn't have to be. Could have been a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I don't know. You may be deciding. You know what? I need to be by myself. You don't complete me. I'm gonna wait for the big love. I'm not gonna hold on to this false love, and I'm gonna wait for my big love. You do have a new opportunity here, though, with this Page of Pentacles. I think you're breaking free. Ten of Swords reverse. This is breaking free. This is liberation from a stressful situation. I think that you have been, uh, if you think about this, suffering. You've been suffering in some sort of situation that was going nowhere. It just wasn't progressing. And now you're ready to start fresh with a clean slate. Leave all that baggage behind. So you're dropping baggage this month. And as you, and this is like floating on air, you're going to be floating. You're going to feel much lighter. So you maybe, some of you are losing weight. Knight of Wands. Time is of the essence. You're taking action. You're not, it's done. You're done. You're taking action. It's like you're moving. You're moving very, very quickly in a new direction. 
there's no fear here. I think that you're, you're, you know, you are taking action to drop something, to drop something that has held you back. Some of you, it's weight. Some of you, it's weight. Some of you, it's some sort of, it could be a job as well. It could be a job. It could be something, some, 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 something that's been causing you financial burden, you know. Something has been causing, there's been poor financial decisions, poor decisions, period. And I think that you're taking action to change. Seven of Cups. You've made some poor choices. Somebody has absolutely made some poor choices. And now you are making better choices. You're choosing to make better choices. Three of Cups. Drinking a lot of water. I see you drinking a lot of water, water, water. I don't know where that came from. Whatever. Um, maybe you're you're dropping a third party situation for some of you. You may be dropping a third party situation. I see you out. You know, maybe you're deciding to socialize. You may start socializing. You may um, start being more playful, putting yourself out there as you start to feel more comfortable with yourself. Four of Wands. Yikes. So you, some of you may meet somebody unexpectedly. You may meet your match, Gemini. You may meet your match at some sort of gathering. This is a gathering. This is a gathering. This could be instant. You could. This could come out of the blue. You, there may be an instant attraction with somebody that you didn't even see coming. So you may have a new beginning here. Could be with an Aries. Um, could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could, I think it's a fire sign. It could be. This person is going to see your see your your beauty. Put it that way. This person is going to be very 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 attracted to you, and once they see you, they're going to come and get you. They're going to come after you. They're going to come speak with you. Um, this could be at a party. This could be at I don't know where it is, but it's some sort of gathering. <laughs> um, this is your match. This is a match. Um, it's a set. It's a set. You guys will, you know, it's meant to be. It is meant to be. And I think that things, I, I, I don't think it's, I think this is uh, unexpected. I do think it's unexpected. I think this is a new beginning that comes to you after you release something. Because we have all these tens. Ten, ten, ten. Those are completions, okay? So it's a completion. And with the world card, somebody's been holding on to some unfinished business. And I feel like there's a release of that. There's a... There's a liberation. It's like feeling liberated. I, I've broken free from this. You know, it's like you get broken free from something. You you choose. You choose to broaden your horizons. You choose to break free. And then all of a sudden, it is sudden. I think it's sudden. All of a sudden, you get this exciting opportunity that heads in your direction out of the blue. I think this is out of the blue. I feel like it is a fire sign. I think it's an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I think it's, my guess is it's an Aries, but that's just a guess. That's what I think. Um, I feel like this person um, could end up being a big love. You could It could develop into some sort of a commitment that leads to marriage. This person is very passionate. They are going to be very, very attracted to you. They may invite you out for drinks. They may invite you out to dinner where that includes drinks. Um, yeah, that's what I got. Good luck.